We might still be two months away from EAFC 24, but today, guys, I can tell you I was one of the first to play EAFC 24. And what I want to do in today's video is show you guys some of the new features and additions to Ultimate Team specifically, guys. We're going to look at some never seen before information as I was inside of the game, got some insider access, all thanks to EA Sports. So again, big shout out to EA Sports for letting me have this opportunity to virtually attend the Amsterdam live stream event where we got to see a lot of behind the scenes coverage and also play EAFC 24 hands on. You may remember that event for the one that Holland walked out in his green pajamas. Yeah, it was that one. So without further ado, let's dive in to the video. So we're going to dive right in and talk about three massive changes coming to Ultimate Team in FC 24. The first one is play styles. And we just got a whole bunch of new information about this with the new gameplay trailer that just released. I'm so excited to talk about this, guys, because these play styles are basically one of the most important things coming to Ultimate Team and to EAFC in general. Guys, this is like the traits system of old. Remember how in FIFA's of past, we would have players with traits on them and that would give them better animations and make them, I guess, better in game at those certain things that they had traits for. Taking that to the next level is playstyles. As you can see here, right, there's two different types of playstyles. There is kind of the diamond and the gold version and there's the silver, which is like the base version. There's playstyles and play styles plus basically the play styles plus are for the top tier elite players in ultimate team and it gives an even bigger boost to those specific stats than what a regular play style does so a play style is better than nothing but play style plus is the absolute best now let's look through some of these play styles because there's a lot guys there's 30 Four. There are 34 brand new play styles, which means there's actually 68 because all of these can be play styles and then play styles plus. And yes, guys, this is a rebrand and a replacement of the trait system of what we knew in older FIFAs, right? No longer are your player traits going to look like this inside of the game. It is going to look completely different because technically every single player has a slot in ultimate team for all of the play styles it doesn't just show you a couple of them here like it does on zidane now let's take a look at a few of these cards right some of these are really insane power shot right who has it a player who's known for taking more powerful shots from outside of the box and then it shows you how a play style and a play style plus differentiate, right? Performs power shots faster with increased speed. A play style plus player performs the power shots much faster and with a significant increase in speed. So it is very important, if possible, to get players in your ultimate team and play play with players that have the play style plus. And guys, I like some of these images here. They're really cool. Like the finesse shot has been completely changed from what it was last year, right? You've always had the finesse shot with the ball going in the top corner. We've got all new emblems or, or logos and kind of, I guess, pictures to show what these play styles are and guys there's so many of these if you look through a lot of them like it's hard to digest what all of these are going to be doing but i think they're really really important for the gameplay in fc24 uh, if your player does not have play styles you're probably going to be not playing in the most meta possible way with the best players possible uh, because you're going to want to use those added features of the game also i want you guys to notice in this brand new video you see here some of the play styles in action in game you see like as this player is about to use the block play style which is going to be probably pretty op and pretty crazy right you think about that you notice that over the top of the player's head you actually see the symbol of the play style when that player is using that play style in game that's kind of a cool thing you can turn it off of course it is a menu toggle switch but it is there to just kind of let you know that okay your player at that moment is using that play style. And one of the biggest questions I have with all this play style talk is how do we add these play styles to the players that we want to use? Now, as you can see here with Virgil van Dijk and with Erling Holland, who they just showed, it looks like every single player has all of the slots open for all 34 different playstyle or playstyle pluses that could be added to the card. As you can see here, Holland has playstyle plus for acrobatic, and then he's got, I think that's like sprint boost and then um, power header for finishing on his card as regular playstyles, and only one of them is a playstyle plus. How do we get these cards, right? I don't think you can buy them off of the market. I think these players, just like traits in old FIFAs, um, the traits are already on the card. So I think the playstyles are already on these items in ultimate team but you may be able to do evolutions which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video or some other sorts of objectives or of course as promo cards get released down the line like we've seen in ultimate team of years past you know 
towards the later parts of the year, they add finesse shot or they add different traits to players to make them better in game. I think that's going to be one of the things that we'll see in FC24 as well. But guys, I don't think these are on the market at all. I think these are cards uh, or are these are items, basically these play styles that you have to put on a player. The only time you can really choose to apply them looks like it's going to be in um, like pro clubs and stuff like that when you're choosing the traits or the play styles that you want your player to have. In Ultimate Team, it looks a lot It looks a lot more fixed, right? It looks a lot more fixed. And the one thing I will tell you, though, is you can see on Holland's card, the um, play style plus will actually show on the card as the little image, the little image of like the acrobatic finisher that he's got. Um, That'll show on the face of the card alongside of the chemistry style, the position, and everything else going on there. So that is play styles. Again, I'm a bit curious to see how we can add them and how much we can upgrade them. Uh, but these look, they look really insane, man. There's so many different play styles. What I will tell you guys to do is take a look at the EA website, the pitch notes, right? I'll drop a link to the pitch notes in the description. There's a ton of them down here, man. Um, block is probably gonna be super overpowered. Uh, jockey, I can tell you guys, I used Jockey in FC Ultimate Team. Ake has the Jockey play style, and man, he felt so much more rapid on the ball, just having the play style, not even the play style plus. Um, so that one was really good. Um, acrobatic, that was the one that Erling Holland has. He can perform, uh, perform volleys with significant accuracy and access to unique acrobatic volley animation. So guys, we're going to talk a lot about play styles, I think, throughout this summer leading up into FC24, but I think they're going to be super duper important for how we play the game at the best level possible and how we get the most and the most authentic experience out of the players we're going to be using in Ultimate Team as well. So I'm really excited for these. Let's move on to number two. Feature number two being added to EAFC is Evolutions. You've heard me talk about this. I'm sure you've heard a bit about it, but today I want to go deeper and with more information than you have seen ever before on this really game-changing piece of content that's going to be a part of Ultimate Team. Guys, I'll give you a little bit of a heads up. This Evolutions is so big for EAFC 24. They have even added Evolutions as one of the, I don't know what you call it, like basically modes that you can click in. It's that big. It has its own kind of list. It's part of the list and part of the new menus that are going to be in EAFC 24. We'll talk about that as well. But guys, it's massive, right? They're making a big deal about this, and I think they're going to be implementing content in this part of the game year round so it's all about play to upgrade right we've seen a bit of this before and you've seen the ea website with this mukoko example that is the example that ea used for us in amsterdam as well but they give us a lot more information here you see a silver mukoko upgrade to a gold 85 i can tell you right now that instead of going from a silver to a gold this mukoko is going to go from a silver whoever is in the evolutions from the start of the year and however they do kind of a low rated evolution to a higher rated one he starts as a silver but then he gets upgraded with different different card designs that actually kind of, you know, use that DNA twist kind of dynamic that's on this little crest that they have in the announcement video from the public live stream. Um, there's two card designs for a player that is in progress and for a player that has kind of reached its final evolution for now, right? And these cards are probably never done evolving as well they mentioned so many times that you know this this card mukoko maybe is out right at the beginning of the game you can level him up kind of like we do right now with the level up objectives but then once he reaches his highest level for what you can do in that certain season or in that certain evolution path there might be another season that comes along and when we say season we mean like season progress all you're leveling up right we're about to have a new season right now in fiva 23 um you might have another evolution that is added where you can take that card to the next level so it's all about play to upgrade and one of the newest things we learned about this in fc24 is going to be it's not just going to be golds and silver cards guys that we can upgrade right one of the examples that they used in the ea stream um was they used a team of the week version of jude bellingham and they said hey this jude bellingham card uh would be one that we would be able to give him an inform in a certain week of team of the week and he would be able to get a upgrade um, in terms of stats, in terms of weak foot, in terms of skill moves, these upgrades are not just for uh, stats at all on these evolutions cards. You basically can upgrade the entire card with play styles as well. It's all about what EA unlocked for that certain potential card. And it's not just cards at low rated, right? We use that inform Jude Bellingham as an example. One of the other examples they used was a Virgil van Dyke. The, the producer said that he was like, what if I wanted to make my Virgil van Dyke from a 90 rated center back? I wanted to make him a center mid and play him box to box. There might be evolutions upcoming in this year that have a shapeshifter type of vibe. And maybe 
maybe that's a part of a shapeshifters promo or a campaign they didn't really say um but it sounds like there's going to be a whole lot of customizing and a whole lot of potentials and really a lot of opportunity with this brand new evolutions mode i'm probably the most excited for this again i'm skeptical right there is so much that goes into this you're like nate they're they're not going to release good cards right like i'm not going to be able to take a gold card and make them super meta and have them in my team for a long time and is it going to be worth it for me to grind this mode i really think it is going to be worth it um we just have to see how well ea keep the cards in those objectives kind of up with the rest of the meta right we always know that think about it if you're if you're from ea you need to sell packs and you need to get people playing your game the cards in objectives are never as good as the cards in packs right to keep you chasing packs and chasing those cards there but they have to make objectives pretty good like they did with the level up and you know get people to want to play so that they have those metrics as well and they get people on their game playing games just thinking about it from an ea business perspective so they're definitely going to be implemented pretty heavy but uh, i could see us disappointed at some point during the eafc cycle this year with feeling like EA is not giving us enough evolutions or upgrading the cards fast enough. But guys, it is super exciting and I can't wait to talk about this more in Ultimate Team. Now, the third change as a part of EAFC Ultimate Team is an entire menu revamp. Guys, it looks so different in EAFC than you're looking at right now in FIFA 23. Gone are the days, right? Remember how we've had these kind of like bars, these blocks at the bottom of Ultimate Team and all the different menus for a long time. Even inside of Ultimate Team, you've got your transfers, you've got your objectives, and then you've got to click over with R1 or RB and you get into the play mode. And then there's the club mode, right? All of that is completely gone. So forget about all the blocks on the bottom. And I wish I could show you pictures of this, guys, because it'd be so much better if I could. But imagine everything here in the middle being gone. Instead of anything in the middle here with these squares and boxes, everything is kind of controlled by the upper left-hand part of the screen all the way over there on the left side you're gonna have kind of like a scroll wheel where you don't see every possible option but it kind of like scrolls some of them disappear it's almost like on a like a cog wheel of sorts and what you're gonna be able to do from there is once you click on a place where you want to go into like let's say you want to go on to the transfers you want to go into the market you're gonna click on that it might show you a really nice graphic of your transfer list of uh, the transfer market where you're about to search, maybe your transfer targets, or a combination of all those three things. It's basically EA wanted to revamp the menus this year so that you're spending less time going somewhere. Like right now, if you want to go into um, Foot Champs and you're from the home screen, you got to mouse over to play, then you have to click into Foot Champs, and then you have to click play foot champs right and it has to download whatever and boom you're in there now what it looks like a lot from those menus is you're going to be able to like go into a play tab and you know click on that or hover over that and it'll open up the different options you can go into so straight off of the home screen of ultimate team i believe you would be able to go into division rivals or go into a game or go into the store or go into the transfers right now while now it maybe takes a bit of a couple clicks so like right now if you're in foot champs you have to back all the way out you have to go in here to objectives and let's say you're going to like milestone objectives like it just looks so much faster and cleaner with the new setup that they have but guys get ready for it to look a completely different design format and it's changed right a lot of you guys will be like nah man menus changing like that's an l i'm not gonna know how to move anywhere i'm not gonna know how to move around we'll get used to it really really fast but yes it will take probably a little bit of a learning curve so what i would say you say to you is be a little gracious with the change right just be gracious with the change and we're all going to be learning together how these new menus work now those are three massive changes coming to eafc ultimate team but let me give you two bonus items as well that are coming to eafc and man these are maybe just as big as what we just talked about the first one is we have been complaining all year long guys about icons and chemistry and how they don't link well enough into our squads that is changing, guys. I am so excited to say that Icon Chemistry has been revamped and it has changed so that Icons have been linkable like they were in previous FIFAs. They now give one chemistry point for every single league in the entire squad. So they're the same as always, right? Icons will get three chemistry if they're in position, and they will also attribute to the nation chemistry that they, of course, the nation that they are from. So like Zidane attributes to an extra France chemistry point but now Zidane in this squad will also give an extra chemistry point to all Premier League, La Liga and Serie A players since I have all three of those leagues 
in this objective squad right now that I'm using for level up, right? So in EAFC 24, that is massive, right? And basically it allows you to have a couple of icons in your team and already get a player on two chem. Like if you have two icons, that's two league points. If you put one more player in, right? You need three players from a certain league to get one chemistry point for that player. Um, that's that's really awesome. That is so great. And it's going to be really easy to put icons back in for squad building and chemistry purposes uh, this year. And it's, it's going to help uh, making hybrids. And icons are really going to feel like icons of old because they're just going to help out with chemistry in that way once again. Another small thing that's going to be happening is position modifiers. Say goodbye to those. Yes, position modifiers that have been on the market this year, they've been kind of annoying, right? Your player has a preferred and maybe a couple alternate positions, but you have to use this card off the market to change their position. Gone are these cards. These cards are going away, and now all you're going to have to do is basically click into the player, and there's going to be an option where if you want to choose their position, you can just do that without having to use a chemistry style or without having to use a position modifier right so right now you have to go in here and you have to click positioning and then you have to choose it right well now you're just going to be able to choose this without a position modifier card so that is fantastic and also guys it works in draft for you guys that love foot draft for you guys that are grinding draft that is going to make foot draft so much better and also you're going to have to know about some of your players alternate positions to try to get your foot draft team on chemistry that's that's massive massive news right there and the last one is the pack animation guys the pack animation this year is going to be completely different from what we have known in fifas of old let's just open a quick pack right now we got a 10,000 coin pack why not we'll open this for you guys so this is our pack animation in fifa 23 the new pack animation in eafc 24 doesn't start with the card or with the boards it basically starts with a big crest and when i talk about a crest i'm talking about like a small card design if you go and you look at like sbcs or kind of like um this right here i would call that a crest right and what it starts off with is let's say we pack james madison right it would start off with his nation it would kind of like explode in the crest and be unveiled in front of you and then would, another crest would pop up right behind that and it would be his position and then after that it would be his club so it unveils the three major parts of the card the nation the position and the club and then after that it kind of explodes and it kind of backs up and you see the full card you see the boards that we've always known right with the nation league uh, or the nation the club and the position on those boards and then you see the walkout happen that's a walkout card design i can't wait till you guys actually see it in person it's pretty fast i would say it's pretty fast and i think it's also something that kind of brings excitement to the animation because it's faster and really i mean we've only seen one animation so far it's only the walkout animation that we've seen but really it just leaves out the um the guessing like right now you see the card there and it's like okay that's cool like our pack animation this year is pretty cool but like there's not a ton going on when the card is actually walking out or when you're getting unveiled the striker or the uruguay or the liverpool for this darwin nunez right you're not seeing a ton there's not a lot going on but with this new pack animation it is just like graphics like in your face like it's awesome and it's really fast and it's clean and i'm really really excited for it the sound as well with like the explosions and like the fireworks and stuff that are always a part of a pack animation are really really nice and guys that's going to be the video for today we're going to have a lot of other content talking about eafc 24 here very soon as the game is getting closer and closer to coming but i wanted to share with you so much of this stuff today because guys huge shout out to ea for allowing me to attend this event virtually and learn a lot about ultimate team and look out for those ultimate team deep dive pitch notes that we will be hopefully seeing i think it's in august where we'll learn even more about ultimate team so thank you guys for watching the video today if you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate foot account i'll see you guys later peace out